Hi, my name's Owen Stickley and I'm an Applications Engineer at National Instruments UK. In this video I'll be showing you a wireless sensor network demonstrated through web services. We place four wireless thermocouple nodes in the roof at strategic points around the office. We then collect temperature data and plot it on an interpolated colour map. We then used one analogue input node in an outdoor enclosure as a weather station. This has a thermocouple, an ultraviolet sensor, an anemometer, which was kindly donated by InSpeed, and a solar panel to charge the node. Our final part of the demo was a temperature chamber controlled by a serio. This shows the ability to integrate wired and wireless systems. The three parts of our system are tied together with LabVIEW and web services, so the demo can be viewed in any web browser and does not need any National Instruments software to be viewed. I'm now going to show you a quick overview of our website. As you can see here we have our three demos, Serio Temperature Control, Office Temperature Monitoring and Weather Station. If we go onto the Office Temperature page we get a description of the project, we also get live data and history from the drop down. If we go onto Live Data we get an image of the current temperatures of the office and if we put our mouse over these yellow dots which represent the nodes positions we get an exact temperature at that point. If we now go onto our Office History Data page we can select two dates and view interpolated temperature maps between those two points in time. We enter the date in here and we can use this calendar option. We enter the time here and then we click submit. After the images are done loading they will appear in the slideshow beneath. This will automatically play through or you can manually go through the images with the next button. All of these images are being dynamically created to save space on the server. If we now move on to the Compact Rio demo, you can see we have live data, control and webcam down the left hand column. If we go onto the webcam, you can see a live image of the temperature chamber. As you can see here, the fan is currently not moving and the light is not on. If we now go to the control page, we can start the application running and you'll see all the LabVIEW indicators come to life. You can see the current temperature of the chamber here and the desired temperature here. If we set the desired temperature to 22 degrees or some value higher than the current temperature, the light will stay on to try and heat up the chamber. This can be seen in the webcam's live view. If we then go to the live data page, we can also see a LabVIEW graph displaying real-time data. On our weather station page, we simply have readouts from all our instruments wind speed, UV intensity, temperature and battery voltage. There's also a solar panel on there which charges up the battery. We've also added a debug page to our website so you can see detailed node information like link quality, battery voltage and the exact temperatures being read in. Another important feature of our website is the website style drop down. We're currently in LabVIEW but also have NI and military themes. If we go on the NI theme you can see the layout and colour scheme completely changes for the website and not only that, the controls and indicators are automatically updated. I hope this video has provided you some information on LabVIEW, web services and wireless sensor networks. Thanks for watching.